Oh, hi guys, it's me, Craig, from Coffee with Craig. We are in this amazing location at Lothala. Watch for the step, but come follow me, quickly. Whoa. Look at this place. Craig, what are you doing here? I brought coffee. Okay, I'll let you in now. It's Craig and Coffee. How's it going? I'm good. It's Richard from Chasing Africa. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee. So welcome to Villa Lothano. This is probably my favorite villa from Sea Sky Villas. And in peak season goes for around 50,000 Rand a night. A night? A night. Sure. Okay. It's got five bedrooms, sleeps about 10, and it's the perfect place for family entertainment. No parties allowed. No parties. And uh, let's run the B-roll, David. Hold on. Let's run the B-roll, David. Never stop, never settle. I got any all in my cup. I'm on top, I'm on a level, yeah. I'm trying to get to the back. Got it on lock, got it on smash, yeah. She trying to holler what's up. I'm with the shits, this how it is, yeah. When you on your way up. I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. So Craig actually didn't bring any coffee. There's nothing in here. So do you want some coffee? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, now that we got our coffee, let me take you on a quick tour. You ready? I'm ready. Welcome to the master bedroom, where the magic happens. This is where I spend all my time on Instagram. I just followed you, by the way. Good work. Follow me back. So this is the second master bedroom. So when we stay here, you can, do you want that one or this one? I'm happy with this one. Cool. You've got a beautiful balcony, view of lion's head, and uh, you can listen to the birds sing. This is the cinema room where you can watch your favorite Netflix or YouTube channels, like Coffee with Craig. Let's watch it. This is an amazing room to watch my favorite episodes. So now that we've shown you this beautiful villa, if you want this whole place to be yours, for a minimum of three nights, check out ChasingAfrica.com for the best deals. Craig, you want some more coffee? Let's do it. We are very fortunate to be sitting with Richard Holbrook today in this amazing villa in Camps Bay. Richard has done some amazing work. I know what I want to get into a little bit later is your transition from the normal working world into becoming a content creator and what you're doing at the moment. There's some amazing things that he's doing with Instagram South Africa and Chasing Africa. Even this amazing villa we're sitting in right now is a great deal on his website, Chasing Africa, to come stay here at this villa. So check it out, definitely do that. Richard, thank you. I'd love to hear about your entrepreneurial journey, jumping out of the normal world. You're a salesperson, I believe? Yes. You worked at Mini Cooper? I did, but I wasn't a salesperson at Mini Cooper, to be honest. Okay, what did you do then? I was a mini genius, which is a glorified mini genius. Mini so basically, genius. what that means, it was my job to inspire people about the brand and the product. And that's what you're doing now. I guess so. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, that's what I aim to do for beautiful places in South Africa and Africa. And um, so, so what made you want to jump in 100% into being a content creator? I was actually a content creator before I studied and before I worked at Mini. So in high school, I went to Camp Spare, which is Camp Spare High, which is around the corner. And uh, I just I just love taking pictures on my little Sony Ericsson Cybershot. And that, that grew and grew. And then straight after high school, I didn't, I didn't study straight away. Okay. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Went to summer camp, came back, worked at the ice store for two years. And I was the number one salesman. My first month, I sold nothing. And then my second month, I sold 50 computers, which was 30 more than the person under me. So that was my first so, month. So interesting. So you've done really well with the content creation now, mm -hmm. and you did really well with sales. So I've done some previous videos where I've spoken about the importance of sales, so go check it out. And how sales is absolutely everything to your success. For me, I wanted to get into a sales role to learn how to deal with people. So whatever you're doing in life, you're always selling yourself. Always. So yeah. I think it's so important. It's so, so it's nice, so nice to hear that 
that was almost your journey where you you were in a sales role where you made a lot of sales and you didn't start off like that no my first sales role was in high school actually where my mom my parents didn't give me any touch-up money and you know in high school you want to buy whatever so i asked my mom for 50 rand 75 rand to buy a bag of lollipops i paid her off at the end of the week then i bought two bags of lollipops and i grew that into a little tuck shop until i bought my first Sony Ericsson Cybershot. That was my first camera. By the way. Awesome. And then uh, I kept doing that. Started flipping cell phones. Um, I flipped cell phones all the way up until last year, actually. Okay. Yeah. So you're always been a bit of a hustler. Always trying to, always trying to keep multiple streams of income. Nice. So what is Instagram SA? Instagram SA features the best content or the most beautiful content around South Africa. Or we aim to. I'm not saying that it is the best because there's some beautiful photos out there that I haven't seen. But people you tag us at hashtag Instagram underscore SA or they tag us. And uh, yeah, that's how we feature them. And it's, it's grown to be one of the biggest online communities within South Africa okay. on Instagram. All right. And uh, then I started a project called Chasing Africa okay. where my vision is to kind of find the hidden gems starting in Cape Town all the way up to Morocco and then once we get to Morocco take the little ferry across to Spain and then we'll do Chasing Europe maybe. That's awesome. Thank you. But now something I want to ask you. So yes. your whole business is all wrapped around Instagram and people see that and people want to have that whole Instagram life and they see all the fancy pictures, people being on the beaches, people being in these amazing villas, drinking cocktails. What's it really like behind the scenes? <laughs> so the trick is to make it look like you're having the most amazing time. And most of the time you are. But when you're working, when you're behind the camera like David, it's you have to focus on getting the best shots. And I, I find the trick is to first enjoy the, the area and then you know what to capture afterwards. So a lot of people want to have this Instagram life and they try to copy what other people are doing and then they lose, they kind of lose themselves in the process. I know I've done this where I'm trying to do something else and it just doesn't work and you, you get tired. So I think you need to try everything and then you really need to experiment with everything, find what you love the most and then go after that. Um, and then make that your niche. So, so let's talk about that. Are you passionate about what you're doing? I, I love it. Like, I really love, I love travel, I love adventure, and who doesn't love luxury? So I'm trying to tap into that luxury adventure travel market, and a uh, good place to start is in Cape Town. Mm, but you don't have to do that. I think if you're passionate about birds or about trees or whatever, find that create content around that and become number one in that area. So I often find uh, a lot of the best businesses that were ever created were created out of a need to solve some type of problem. Yeah. So what problem are, are you solving with Chasing Africa? Well, right now, I think, I think lockdown has kind of been a blessing in disguise. If you look at the positive side of it, there's, for me, the problem is that there's beautiful villas like this and hotels that are standing empty. I've got, a, I've got a, a decent amount of following on my social media channels. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring the market and show them that this is available. I'm trying to show the locals that this is possible. You can stay here, you can enjoy our country and uh, just keep the economy flowing. You don't have to travel to uh, Paris or New York, all those places. Cape Town has it all, like it really does. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have been through tough times, especially yeah. now with lockdown more so than ever before. Um, mentally, psychologically, it's challenging for, for most people. And if you weren't prepared for it, even, even worse so. Mm -hmm. But you're doing really well now. What did you do to get through that tough time and to start having the right kind of mental, um, the right kind of success mindset in place to succeed? I actually started watching a lot of YouTube videos and I was like, what are people doing? Uh, what do I want to do? I had the opportunity to sit down, write down my goals and say, okay, I've tried this, I really want to do this. Now is an opportunity to do whatever I want because everyone's starting from scratch. Everyone has hit the reset button and uh, now's the time for you to do, to kind of live your passion and just chase it because you have nothing to do. And that's where Chasing Africa kind of was born. Okay, so let me stop you there. Yeah. So you believe in 
attracting things into your life. Mm -hmm. You now, you were telling me before this, how you, you visioned yourself in this villa. Yeah. What, what is future Richard? Who's Richard in five years time? Five years time, I would like to have, well, explored a lot of Africa, okay. a lot of South Africa, and just kind of show, inspire people to get out there, live a little, and keep exploring. That was like a slogan that I was playing with, don't be boring, keep exploring. Oh, I have that. And uh, my girlfriend was like, oh, not again. Don't but, be boring, keep exploring. Yeah, right. that's that's the thing. And just live a little, do the things that, could jump off that bridge. If you're afraid of heights like me, could jump out of a plane. Face uh, your fears. Face your fears and like I said, just live a little, just do it. And showcase it on Instagram. And showcase it on Instagram, document it, because in five years time, I'm going to look back and be like, huh, I did that. Before anything happens, it first happens here in the mind. So if you really want to get something, just picture it in your mind, meditate on it every single day. Just picture yourself in that. Actually, in your head, you can close your eyes right now. And if I say, close your eyes and think of a blue fridge, can you do it? Yeah. Right? If I say, close your eyes and picture yourself with a million followers. Got it. Right? You can feel that, right? So it's very easy to visualize something and just keep doing that until you believe it. And when you believe it, it will come. And when it actually manifests in life, you'll be like, you won't be surprised because it already happened in your mind lots of time. So there we have it. We've sat down with Richard on Coffee with Craig and we found out what goes on inside of his mind, how he sits down and meditates, how he attracts success into his life by writing down his goals, having a vision and following his passion of exploring Africa and maybe even... I'm going to interrupt him there and say, if you guys want to watch the most amazing entrepreneurs in Cape Town, then follow this guy. Keep watching this every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Check out his channel. This guy is starting from the bottom and I can already see in my mind a million subscribers by next year this time. Maybe December, can you do it? Let's do it. I challenge you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.